Well, there seems to be so many people out there who don't and need to get their car repaired and they can't even go to work and things like that. So I have a report, you know, and let's go help members. I mean, this is why I get my information is I get so many requests from let's go help uh, asking about free money and help to not only get a car, but more, it seems to be fixing up a car. They got a car sitting there and they can't go to work. They can't do something or make money with their car or drive around to uh, do shopping or the kids. Uh, and it, and it is very expensive. It's like dentist, <laughs> very expensive. We try to get by without going there, but I, I have a report. Uh, that I want to give everybody. Uh, it shows about 200 programs on how to pay for cars and car repair, actually free cars. There's a lot of nonprofits that do a lot of this work. I mean, well, what happens in our society is that, you know, there's a problem that the government doesn't do very well, you know, like pay for car repair. <laughs> and so nonprofits really step in and say, hey, there's a problem there. I mean, that's what our community is about. You see a problem, you go out and try to solve it, you know, uh, and that's what's neat about it. One, whether it's business or government or nonprofits, one of those organizations can't do everything. So we all have to find our ways to, you know, make society a little nicer, bigger, better, or whatever. So these organizations help you fix your cars. Actually, there is a government program too at, at uh, uh, Department of Transportation because if your car had a recall, you could get it fixed for free. <laughs> so they have a big database and it's in this report. You can find out about it here. Uh, uh, how they, they you know, you, have, you take it, you, hey, this is recall. I was supposed to get this fixed and you get it fixed. Uh, and for free because they, uh, I don't know the uh, details of how, who pays what, but you don't pay anything. <laughs> the government said they had to do it. So that's cool. And other things are not local nonprofits, a lot of churches. I mean, uh, we have a uh, Members who say their uh, church on on the weekends, <laughs> mechanics are there to help repair cars for free and stuff like that. There's a lot of good people in this country. <laughs> you just got to find them. They don't advertise on Google. That's why you can't find them. So that's what this is all about. And there's a lot of free cars. What they do is a lot of nonprofits. Uh, we'll take old cars, fix them up, and give them to people. Uh, national and local nonprofits that help with cars. 120 organizations that provide free working cars for working families. Then free charity cars. Uh, there's a lot like people with cancer and things like that. There's special cars for them. If the United Methodist Church, cars for free in your area. United Methodist Church does a lot of that. Uh, community Action Agency, that's another place. And I have all this in the report here. You got to go through it. Uh, grants and and how to get uh local grants financial assistance to purchase or adapt and for a handicapped fan all the sources that are available for that see it takes work though the uh, pay to get transportation uh to car eight thousand dollars to buy a car and a thousand dollars to fix it up transportation assistance program for women that's a special program that's a state program uh grants to pay for transportation and get to work in the state of New Jersey, discount auto insurance they have in New Jersey. Who would have thought? Free and low cost prayers, uh, um, uh, repairs from nonprofits, personal grants from private foundations for emergency money uh, or to buy a car. See, that's the other thing. Person, there's foundations and things like that uh, that help that have what they call emergency money, and actually that happens a lot in uh, uh, in the government programs too. So there's a lot of uh, emergency money in the programs, in the government programs. So that's why I show you here how to use 211 and, and find help. Uh, .org, 211.org, find help to find the transportation programs there uh, and the emergency money. See, if you look for money for a car, you're not going to find that. If you look for emergency money, they may have a few thousand dollars like that you could get uh, from the local thing. So that's why. Uh, it is, you know, what you have in your mind, you think you're going to find, you know, they call it something else. And that's probably, that's why you have to get on the phone uh, and go through the process. I mean, it's like going down a rabbit hole, but that's all. Every rabbit hole you're going to go down, you're going to find more people <laughs> that'll help you somewhere else. And that's, that's what it takes. If you're not willing to do that. You probably won't get much. 12 million cars a year who get repaired for free because they are part of a recall. See, told you about that one. Uh, discount repairs at your home. Uh, Low cost repairs from local trade schools. See, that's another thing. Every they have car repair trade schools. Hey, repair my car. Let the kids learn, <laughs> and you get your car repair. And, and I got a list of all the trade schools that do that. You know where you live. So that's pretty cool. Uh, and and you know banks that give you grants instead of <laughs> loans for God. So this big report here uh, is going to take work on your part when you get it. Uh, see, 
for working cars for working families and all kinds of things. They're all listing here. So uh, there's a free report. It's in the description. Just download it <clears throat> and start looking there. And the way to use this or anything that I send you is you have to get on the phone and start talking to people and ask them for help. And when they say they don't know or they don't know where, then you, ha you ask them for help. Who else can do that? Here, Maryland Disability Grant, see, stuff like that. And there's a lot of free help for uh, people with disabilities who need cars too. And, and a lot of uh, foundations and, and nonprofits that give money to people with uh, medical pro other medical problems too, in addition to just disabilities. Uh, inexpensive car repairs from nonprofits. See, this is probably the biggest. There's another article or two in here too that I, I share with you uh, that is, one's pretty good. Uh, and I said, well, they're both pretty good. <laughs> so that's why I always go to other places. I mean, I don't know everything, nobody does. But these two articles here I have in the report. Articles for care, uh, cars for cancer patients and free car repair here. Uh, these are pretty good. Uh, so you want to look at those two because everybody, you get a little bit here, a little bit there. You start putting together the puzzle and it takes time. If you don't, if you think you're going to get this done fast, well, you could try, but you're probably not going to do it. <laughs> so you, you got to sit in there. And how long is that car sit there and not be used? Yeah. <laughs> so what'd you do? So it's going to take a couple of hours. What the hell? <laughs> it's been sitting there for 10 days or th th three weeks or three months and nothing's happened. Well, <laughs> now at least you spent a couple of hours. Something could happen. And you're the reason why it could happen if you put some work into it. Okay. So it's going to take, uh, what is that calling and what was that smiling? Uh, phoning and cloning? Smiling. Smiling and what? Dialing. That's I it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, a member said how, how he gets that. And he calls it dialing and smiling. You dial away and be nice because people want to help nice people. They want to, don't want to help miserable betches that, that, that just are you know, going to ruin their day. No. So it's dialing and smiling. Boy, I got a new buzzword. <laughs> Have fun.